This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and today I have finally found Autobot Origin Jazz. And I'm very happy to find this, especially because it's an exclusive. And I think I'm living with some past trauma regarding exclusives, because I'm always worried I'm not going to find them. Uh, because I, in the past, when uh, the whole pandemic thing, uh, you know, started, I didn't find Bumblebee, I didn't find uh, Elite One on the Netflix line. Uh, Cosmos I actually never saw in stores. And there's a couple other figures, you know, the Amazon exclusives, uh, of Dirge Ramjet, and the Ironhide and um, Prowl Pack. Never found those, uh, they never were delivered. So, you know, it builds trauma. Eventually you just think, man, it's an exclusive, I'm gonna miss it again. And then I did about five Toys R Us in the past week. Uh, because it's been spotted in Markham, Ontario, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go hunting with my kid. Uh, so we had a good time, and uh, you know, the first three, four stores we did were barren. I'm th I'm talking nothing on shelf. A uh, couple of you know older figures, Cyberverse stuff, uh, nothing new, and then uh, the one on Merivale was just fully stocked, and I found this guy, so I'm very happy. So without further delay, because I ramble on too much, we're going to take a look at this guy. Before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. Also check out my sponsor, DJCCollectibles.com, fantastic online store, something I'm very happy to have a sponsor, uh, great guy, great shipping, and also local pickup, so that's always fun. And at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code. And now let's roll the intro. North side of Cybertron's blacker than the inside of a drive shaft. All right, taking a quick look at the box. Plastic free packaging, which now has been confirmed that that's gonna go away. Uh, and some people are happy, some are not. I personally don't care. I know I'm not too fond of this. And this one was, well, let's uh, open it up and show it. This one doesn't have any straps, right? So it's just, he's wedged in these you know, two sides of that box. So somebody with enough willpower, I guess, could actually just rip him off there and take the figure. So I'm hope I'm not uh, giving anyone any ideas, but uh, you know. So you have the box, uh, Buzzwordy Bumblebee, Origin, uh, Autobot Jazz. You have Optimus Prime, Megatron, RC. This fantastic looking thing. Okay, Evo Fusion, okay, that's a gimmick that would work if there was a show called Legacy. And if in that Legacy show, they would do Evo Fusion, whatever that would be, then kids would be drawn to, oh, we can do Evo Fusion. This means nothing, because the show was not picked up by Netflix, so. And then some beautiful artwork of Origin Jazz. And then plastic-free packaging in five languages. Thank you. All right. The instructions, standard War for Cybertron stuff, inspired by it anyway. And then they show you what to do with uh, the grappling hook and how to transform the figure. I have not transformed him yet, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. But these instructions are actually very helpful. The gun, he kind of looks like the Studio Series 86 gun, different color. And then you have the grappling hook. Looks okay. And Jazz himself, who looks really good. He's he's actually you know a little heavy. Like you know it's a good amount of plastic that I'm holding in my hand. Uh, the chest do do pop a little much, but you know it's you it used to have the whole thing. Now it's kind of condensed. So, you know, make boob jokes all you want. Uh, but he, the, the face sculpt is really good. The color of the eyes or the visor, 
silver mouth and nose. Blue paint, the Autobot logo, clear plastic for the headlight. Looks really good. Uh, gray. I think silver would have been a little better. Same here, kind of like uh, the uh, Studio Series 86. That would have been nice, but you know, we'll take it. And then the huge cable. Like it's, it's there's no other way to put it. It's just huge cable. You thought Prowl and Blue Streak had huge feet in Siege and Earthrise? No, this guy trumps it all. And, uh, you know, the canopy. You know, it, it sticks, but I'm so happy to have this guy, honestly. I want to do the comparison before the articulation, hold on. So let's go and compare him with Netflix Bumblebee, another exclusive, but I'm not showing the origin Bumblebee because I don't want to transform him. So we'll save that, save that comparison for the uh, alt mode. Studio Series 86 Grimlock, and you can see it's a you know good size, Yeah, the scaling is still good. And Studio Series 86 Jazz, which mine has been completely toy hacked. But before I do the comparison fully for those, the guns, they are similar, but different. And you know what? I would have been fine with a repaint of this one, honestly. Uh, but uh, you can see the similarities between the two. I think the Studio Series 86 has more detail and definitely more paint. But if you look at these two, you see what I mean? That it's not the same gray, it's more of a you know lightish gray silver on the Studio Series 86. I think that looks good. But you can see that this is completely new mold. Uh, they don't share, maybe the forearms, even then, no, it's not the same forearms. Uh, there's that same square here and here. Uh, but it's uh, not the same connection for the uh, the hands uh, Feet are different legs are different as well the thigh Everything is brand new and it's a very is it the same head sculpt the mouth is different So yeah, I guess so new head sculpt, but both looking really good Now let's do the articulation so you have your ferris wheel very tight and it kind of makes the chest pop up so that's kind of weird slightly annoying but if you yeah it uh it's gonna move it that's weird all right you have your head on a ball joint go all the way around look up a little bit look down a little bit and no well a fraction of attitude you have your 90 degree the hands don't rotate it's too bad you have a merry go round that's pretty cool and then you have your johnny cage and then you have the 90 degree bend it would have bent a little more but the uh, cable is in the way and then for the foot, you have the ankle tilt, but you don't, while well, the toe does bend down, I'm guessing that's because of transformation, but there's no back and forth. So there you go. And then you have the Evo Fusion, where you can put the grappling hook in the gun. It's completely useless, unless you want to shoot a grappling hook in someone's face. But you can put the grappling hook and put it here. And the grappling hook actually, you know, you can remove it. So, I don't know, that's something. But there's no rope, so, but I'm guessing you, you know, some modder will put a rope in there and recreate that one scene. Throw me a line! You got it! All right, so there you go. Let's uh, put the gun on him. Oh, that's a tight fit, hold on. That's a really tight fit. All right, so there you go. Final look at Origin Jazz from the Buzzwordy line before I do the transformation. And I didn't do my stupid gimmick of transformation because uh, well, this part here where you unfold this, it's like sitting here and you fold it under and then it clips here. 
to undo that, it's extremely stressful. Like, very, very stressful. So, yeah, so I, I forego the, uh, the stupid gimmick. So, the pros, if you look at it from this angle, looks amazing. I, you know, I'm sure Toy Hacks will cover this, but it still looks good. Not that much kibble inside. Um, little gap here, two tone of white. So I'm guessing colored and painted. Um, a little too much clear plastic, this whole section here. So that's, it was stressful because there's clips here under the foot and then there's clips on the sides here. So that's, uh, you know, a little annoying. Um, what, I mean, I like, I, I really like the look of it. I have a little scratch here on paint, so that's too bad. Uh, the, har the arms, sorry, do stick out uh, quite a bit from underneath. But, you know, it gives it that floating look. Let me put that, push that back a little bit. It does give that floating look you know, depending on which angle you have. Um, the backside, you know, it covers pretty nicely. It looks really good. Uh, you can put some, I don't know, maybe blast effect there. Maybe that's compatible. And, well, you know what? Let's, let's give it a shot. Yep, there you go. You can have some jazz. Okay, it's angled a little downward, but play with it. You can go in turbo mode. Oh, look at that little paint smudge here. So I'm gonna have to white out this. Uh, not too many, I mean, he cleans up really nice. I like the blue, uh, looks good. I think Toy Hacks will probably do something to break all the, uh, the white. Underneath looks terrible. I mean, you have the faux chest. Uh, and, you know, I don't know why they gave him the full chest with two headlights, because in the alt mode, it's just one grill. There's, there's no headlight, so that, you know, that could have been just white. Instead of painting white over the clear plastic, I don't know. But, I mean, that's, if you compare him with the, he does have those, you know, headlights here. and But those are painted, they're not clear. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm really happy with this. I mean, there's no, no, no gimmick now. There's no articulation. You can put the gun here. Uh, nothing rolls. He just slides in. But he slides in pretty good. So there you go. All right, let's do some size comparison with Dinobot Sludge, just because you know, scaling. Origin Bumblebee, uh, who's been uh, body toy hacks. So I'm hoping that, you know, they do something similar. And Earthrise Wheeljack. And I'm really hoping that they do the Origin Wheeljack soon. Because that would be a completed dream. You know, like, have all three. That'd be awesome. You're out! So there you go, guys. Final look at Jazz. I'm going to leave him in alt mode because that's how I'm going to display him. He's going to be right next to this guy. And uh, this guy here, there you go. So that's gonna be my display or something similar uh, in uh, the very, very near future. And I can't wait to have a wheel jack to go along with uh, these two. So that's fantastic. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'm super happy to found this figure. And I'm, I'm really grateful that th there was at least one Toys R Us who stocked properly. So, you know, thanks for that. But I do wish that the Buzzwordy line was also available at my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. That would just be amazing. But, you know, it's it's not meant to me, I guess. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.